You are welcome to this video. This is specifically for you, so for British students. And I want to look, look at how you can update or update your passport and how you can change your password on the integrated portal. First and foremost, you visit the portal. I believe you have your address with you. After securing, after ensuring that you have an internet in your area, you can go to portal go to your local but if it is empty, that takes you straight to the portal login page. And then you, you impute your login detail, which must be the matric number for students, and if you are an applicant, that should be your application number. For instance, students we have a much number of for an applicant to start with U A slash area. So you impute that in the very position of the name. You can see application number, reach number, slash matric number, but for staff, they have yet to use the staff ID. So you use your application number, near the matric number. Let me use this for example. Then you use the Sony in small letter. The password, the surname is monitored at the password. In the station where you have a company, you put a company name as a surname, you have to list everything that is monitored. If there is a hyphen, if there is a minus, if there is a dot in your name, you must observe all of that. You must use all of that because the system will capture them as a password. In, in the station where you also put a space, you must also make sure that you input it, you use the space for the internet as a password. So then you click on login, that takes you to the dashboard. When you get to the dashboard, you will have access to several links there. Here you see your payments, and under the passport, in password management, this is where you can actually edit your password. You enter the whole password, which is for this things to be by man, but in small letter. So the S U S U L E I. In the end of this monitor. So, in the station where he intends to use another pass password, all you need to do is repeat the new password in this monitor and repeat it again in this monitor, repeat it again in there, click on change password. In the station where you intend to change your passport or signature, first and foremost, you must have made the, the passport or the signature ready on your device, possibly mobile phone or computer. Save it there, then come here, select the file type, if you need a passport, select the passport, and make sure that the format of the passport is checked and it is less than 100 kilobytes. I made a video on that you can go through. So, how you, how you can edit the video and ensuring that it is only in the and it is less than 100 kilobytes. So, you do a click to choose the Passports after doing that, you simply, simply select it, select and click open. Immediately, you click open, the passport appears there. Once the passport appears, it's just a matter of time if I refer the page, it replaces whichever one is there. If, if, you have, if you don't have anything there, you will see the new one replacing whatever you have. Thank you.